We are making samples today. So I'm gonna walk you through how we can find the cutest samples to send. And yes, my friends, we're gonna do it very efficiently and we're going to do it very easily. You can do all of this from home. It's gonna be awesome. So are you ready? Get set, let's go. All right, friends, so samples. We gotta do it in our Sensi business. And there's lots of different ways. This is obviously not even my first video on doing samples, but I'm doing samples today. It's a Monday. Um, I want to share with you what I'm doing. So hopefully this will inspire you and kind of show you how you can get some of the fun things that you see people doing and realize that they're actually really easy to duplicate and to do yourself at home. So this is what we're going to do. So we are doing samples of the December scent of the month. So December, 2020 Arctic kiss. It's an amazing scent, mind you. Um, but I want to get this out into my customers' hands and I want them to be able to experience it because so far I've been warming it in the house and I am in love. It's a great, fun, different scent for the holidays. So I'm really excited about it. All right, so let's go ahead and break this down. All right, um, again, easy, simple, cost efficient. That's what we're going for, okay? Okay. Um, in my other videos and in lots of other videos, you can see how you can do fun um, sample packages, mail outs, all kinds of things. And I use Pirate Ship for my mailing service. So it works through the USPS, so United States Postal Service. Uh, when you do it, you can do it online, you can do it from your phone. I normally do it from my phone. And all you do is you go in, you put the package that you're mailing, whether it's a box, whether it's a bubble mailer, whatever, put that size in, weigh it. You will need like a, like a at home kitchen or mail scale. And then you just put in the weight, boom, you can print your own postage and you're done. That's how I do my bubble mail outs. Now, like I said, we're going to do this a little bit more cost efficient because those bubble mail outs, as much as I absolutely love doing them, um, the cool thing is that I sometimes want to get out like with Arctic Kiss, right? This is my sample of the scent of the month for December, right? So I want a lot of people to get this and I want them to get it soon, right? So to keep me from spending as much in postage because those bubble mailers, I love them and I love doing them, but they can range anywhere from two to $3, depending on the weight, right, that you're putting in there. So if I were to do that for every single customer, every single month, mama wouldn't be making that great of money, right? I'd be putting out more than I'm bringing in. And so I really pay attention to my business budget. So for those of you just starting out, please, 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 only do what you can do. Make yourself a budget if that's what you have to do, but you really have to stick to it because it's super easy. And I am totally guilty of sliding past that budget, right? <laughs> Going, mm, okay, went a little bit over. But if you continuously go over and go over and go over every month, that's hurting your bottom line. And that's not probably why you're doing this business. I mean, let's be real. So um, I am using, um, I love clear packaging. I just do, it's my jam. I like people to be able to see it because it gets them more excited to open it. It's just what I do. Um, so I find these mailers on their self-sealing mailers. I find them on Amazon, search Amazon, use your Google machine, do whatever you need to do. Um, but I get them from Packet Chic, okay? These are four by six. This is the four by six size. So this is what it looks like, okay? So it's just literally a clear mailer and a hair. That's okay. 
those come off too. Okay, and of course, because I am wanting to put out samples, right? I also want to use my flyers. So again, newer consultants, key into this. You should really, really, really look to invest in either the scent of the month kit that is an exclusive perk for being a consultant or the warmer of the month kit. Again, those are both exclusive kits that are only available if you are a consultant. And those are available through your workstation. Go to the account tab. You can sign up, you can opt in, opt out, upgrade to the warmer of the month, downgrade to scent of the month, doesn't matter, right? You can do those as often as you need to to make changes. Um, I personally have gotten to the point in my business when I first started out, um, I could I did it when I was able to budget it in, right? So that was at the beginning of my business, right? So I didn't have a huge paycheck or anything like that coming from Sensi at the beginning. I was growing and building, right? So it was basically, okay, what can I afford to put into this? And so I would do it on the months that I could. And then I got to a point in my business to where I would set aside from my commission every single month that set dollar amount for the cent of the month kit. And I was, I got to the point to where I was consistent in getting it every single month. And so what did that do? That gave me the opportunity to get the flyers, the stickers, the, um, the wax, right? So you, well, you used to get nine individual bars plus a tester, plus a room spray, right? So you literally have everything you need to market for the upcoming month right then and there. It's a great deal, okay? Um, and I love being able to have that deal. And then of course, as my business has grown over the years, I've now gotten to the point to where I can actually budget in the warmer of the month every single month. So that's what I personally get. You do earn PRV whether you choose the scent or the warmer of the month kit, so keep that in mind. Um, but like I said, you really do, and even in my business, right? Like I, I've grown my business. I am a star director. Um, I, I still watch my bottom line when it comes to mail out specifically because, like I said, I for one am guilty of getting carried away. So I have to really pay attention and hold myself accountable to that budget. So this is this is that budget friendly way to get the mailings out. All right, so if you if you don't have a printer at home, you can still do this. So I'm gonna show you what I personally do, but that is because I have a printer from home, so I print from home, okay? Again, for years in my business, did not have a printer at home. Uh, finally, it was, I don't even know how many years ago now, where I finally waited till like Black Friday. Hello, this is, you know, the holiday season. Um, and I splurged and I got myself a printer from Best Buy um, on a Black Friday special. I think I honestly spent like $29 on this printer and it has been an amazing printer, okay? It's just an HP printer. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. There's nothing special about it. Just find one when you can afford one okay because let me tell you for one it is a business expense for two it's really going to help you to be more creative in your business honestly um you can choose from like the dymo label makers and things like that those are a little bit more pricey um i personally just i stick to my regular printer it's what i it's what i like it's what i know it's what i'm comfortable with so um that's really all there is to it but if you don't have a printer, okay, in, in the scent and warmer of the month kit, both, they do come with 72 stickers, okay, stickers for the scent of the month. So when you're making your samples, if you don't have a printer, this is what I've done forever and ever and ever is I just take a sticker and I put it on the bag, okay? So what I try and do though, <laughs> is I try and have a little bit of fun when I'm feeling like having fun. So today is a day that I wanted to dedicate to that. So what I did is I actually went out onto one of the Facebook groups. Somebody had made this little image and it just says the name of the scent, right? Arctic Kiss. And then it gives the scent description, which is cool Arctic mint and fresh air embrace the warmth of fluffy cl vanilla clouds. And then it says 10% off in December. So what I did is I use my 
actually my favorite labels to use. <laughs> These are just some circle labels. I just like the look of a circle label. And this is the 5293 by Avery Labels, people. Just do it. Okay, because then whatever labels you get, whether they're round, whether they're square, rectangular, what have you, then all you have to do is go to avery.com, type in the number of the labels, and then boom, your template is there. You can put images on it. You can create whatever images. They have an image stock. They will even, they even have a QR code creator on there, okay? You can literally do everything on Avery and then just print it out on your labels. Boom, and that's what you get. So that's what I have done in printing my stickers, okay? So here's all my round stickers. I've got those. Then what I did, remember, we're trying to be cost efficient. And when it comes to mailing things, especially samples, um, if you're going to do wax samples, if you're going to mail these, you really want to try, again, to keep the cost at the bare minimum that you need to do. For me, that is one postage stamp. So that's really my ultimate goal if I'm just doing like samples, right? Again, if I'm mailing a sample pack or a thank you bag or bubble mailer or whatever, right? That's different that's different. Put whatever you want in there. But when you're doing samples and you're trying to get a batch out, right? Like I'm trying to do 50 samples to 50 of my customers. And so what I do, you can use a crinkle cutter if you have one of those. And if you're not familiar with what those are, they're just like these little crinkle, they're actually vegetable cutters is what they are. So you can look in like the home goods section. You can look on Amazon. Um, I've had that for <laughs> years. Okay. Okay. So you can do that. You can cut it very thinly, you can do whatever you need to do, or what I choose to do every so often, more or less in the wintry months, not so much in the summer months. In the summer months and throughout the year, I do actually use felt samples and I buy the felt uh, pieces that are available in the Sensi Success store. So this is my sample from last month. It was a felt sample. I just got the Christmassy or holiday shapes. And as you see, look, I just used the sticker from the set, right? From the kit that I got. And that's what I actually have been throwing into all of those packages. So this month, of course, I want to mix it up a little bit. I don't like to do the same thing every single month, right? I want my customers to be surprised. I don't want them to go, oh, it's the same old, same old. I want them to be surprised. So I like to do it a little bit differently each time, kind of flip flop back and forth, just so it makes it fun. Now, I decided I was gonna go ahead and do wax molds so I could actually send wax out. Um, the felt samples are great. I absolutely love them. They are safe to put in the dish, let it warm. It's not gonna hurt anything, right? They're amazing. Um, but again, it, it's been a minute since I did some actual wax samples, so why not? So I got out my melting pot. I actually put in uh, two big cubes out of my brick that I got in my warm of the month kit and warmed those so they were all melted down. Once melted, I got this cute um, snowflake mold at my, actually I think I got it at like Hobby Lobby, so your local craft store, right? You can, again, go on Amazon, do whatever you need to do, but check out your local places, okay? What I normally look for in a mold is something that is very thin. So these guys are absolutely perfect for mailing because here is one here and you'll see this is super thin, okay? This is a super thin mold. I absolutely love this mold for that reason because it's absolutely perfect to be able to mail. And look at these cute snowflakes, okay? That's just, come on. All right, so I've made my molds. What I do with those is like I said, I put them in the melting pot, pour them in the mold, and then I actually just put them in the freezer for like 10 minutes, pull them out, plop, they're done. Okay, grab some jewelry bags or whatever bag you have or have on hand. I have some two by three jewelry bags. I took my stickers that I printed out with the description right there, okay? So now I've got my sample in a bag and it's labeled. Now what I wanna do, again, I'm taking advantage, right? In my warmer of the month kit, 
I actually get 50 flyers that go over the scent and warmer of the month. So here we are, the Polar Panorama. If you guys have not seen this, check out my unboxing. It's amazing, honestly fell in love. Um, but here you go. So here's the whole thing, right? And then on the back, it shows previous month. So in order to get it to fit into my four by six mailer, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to eyeball this. And I know I need to fold it right about there okay because that is what is going to fit in my envelope now if you don't want to um fold these or do that if you actually get the number 10 envelopes or the longer envelopes right like a bill usually comes in um, <laughs> you can do that again go to amazon type in number 10 envelope get all kinds of different colors whatever um and then those actually f these fit in here perfectly in a number 10 envelope so you don't have to fold it so if that's something that you're like mm, i don't want to have to do that that's okay you can get around that and then what i actually use is you can i mean you don't have to really do anything but i like to be able to attach the sample in there because i don't want it just flying around willy-nilly um, again, I want it to look nice and that I actually put some time and effort into this when I'm sending it out, okay? Um, so I've got this and what I use is just glue dots. Glue dots. Again, craft store, Amazon, wherever you want to go. Um, and they just come on a roll. So basically what they are, and you've probably seen these in other mail outs, things like that, that you may have gotten in the mail even. It's just like a little thing of glue. It's literally a glue dot. Now here's the key to using them <laughs> in case you've never used glue dots. You, you can't just peel these things off with your fingers. It's going to stick to your finger. It's going to become a big globby mess. So whatever it is that you want to attach, I want this. So I just push it straight on the glue dot. Okay. Push it on there. And then it just, <laughs> now that I say this, <laughs> It just peels off onto your, there it is. Okay, onto the back of my bag. Again, what this has done is this has saved me from maybe using a stapler, or anything like that, and putting any extra width into my, my mail out. So what I'm gonna do with this, this is where I've decided to put it. Oh, that's when I already did. Okay, this is where I decided to put it, it is just right there on top of the warmer. So I'm just gonna put that in place and then push my glue dot. There it is, boom, boom. So now it's hidden inside there, okay? And you see it didn't, I mean, that sample is thin enough to where it doesn't really, it doesn't really do anything. All right, so I've got that. So I'm gonna put that into my mailer like so see it looks really pretty right so now you can put a label on put your return address label put your two label on there maybe put some fun stickers whatever you want to do um you peel this off close it seal it out so again wanting to have some fun i like to make it exciting for my customers to use so or to get in the mail so what I do is I use, there's two apps that I use for all graphics, Over and Canva. There are pro versions to both, but there are a free version for both of those. So you can do anything that you want with the free versions of those apps, okay? They're amazing. They're both available on desktop and on mobile, okay? So very cool. Like I said, those are my two number one apps that I use for probably everything you see that I've created. Um, and so because of that, I actually pay for the pro version for both. So there are some differences, especially, well, with Over, it comes with more of like the images that you can use and the graphics and stuff like that. But also with Canva, again, some more images that you're, you have access to, things like that. Um, this I just made up very quickly in Canva. Um, on Canva again, so I just found a, a snowflake image, right? Cause I'm going with a theme and I just put your Scentsy sample is here cause it is. Um, and if you know me at all, 
I am totally a QR code person. So I put my QR code on probably everything that goes out the door. <laughs> Um, so I didn't want to sit here and just fill it all up with, with business cards. And I didn't want to print extra stickers to put on the envelopes or anything like that. Right. So I thought, well, why don't I just make a cute little four by six card that I can just slide in there. So that's what I did. Again, did all of this on Canva. Okay. I just went into Canva, created my image. Canva also has a QR code creator. So all you have to do is just hit the QR code creator button you put the website in that you want it to go to, boom, it gives you your QR code instantly. It's super easy. You don't have to leave the app and then you put it right in. So then I just took that image. I went to avery.com because that's again, what I use not only for my stickers, but then I just go in there and I put four by six image. That's the size that I want to print. So it comes on a card. So these actually come four to one piece of paper and I just use my paper cutter. So I get some pretty nice straight lines, right? Just cut them out. There we go. And so what I am going to do with that is slide that right in, <laughs> right in there. I know it looks super easy, doesn't it? Okay, so right in there and there we go. So now they've got that on one side, this on the other. And last but not least, some confetti. And because tis the season, I am using some um, Christmas themed confetti right now. So, you know, you do what you do. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So I've got my confetti in there. It'll just bounce around, kind of be like a shaker card actually. But all I have to do is just peel this off for my envelope and then I just fold it down and it just seals itself on the back and boom here we go this my friends all I have to do is put one stamp on this I will take one postage stamp So I'll put that right in the corner. Then all I will do is put my return address label and then the label to my customer. Easy peasy, super fun, okay? This is, like I said, a really great and inexpensive way. You don't have to break the bank to get these samples out. And again, when I'm doing like batch samples, one stamp is about what I want to spend when I'm sending out like 50 samples in the mail, okay? Now, does this mean that I'm gonna mail all 50 samples? Maybe, maybe not. Um, if you don't have that many customers yet, that's okay. Don't do all, don't make a huge grouping of this, right? Just make a handful if that's what you have right now in your customer bake and send them out to your customers send them out to your potential customers. If you've started a VIP group or a list or anything like that, send it out to those people. If you, again, are newer, a really great way too is to go into your workstation, go to your order tab, and then you can look at the history of who, who has bought from you. You can do it since the beginning of time. Maybe you've reinstated and you wanna remember who your customers used to be. You can actually go in and put a custom date in there to be able to pull from. So it makes it really easy to be able to have that information. And of course, I mean, like I said, would you want to get this in the mail? I mean, I totally would. And when you're looking at it, you don't even know that there's a sample in there until you open it. So it's super fun and cute. And like I said, it's not gonna break the bank. So I hope this has helped and given you some ideas. And until next time, peace, love, happiness. Bye.